so many indelible marks left on the city that he treasured. As Jacksonville prepares to say goodbye this week, those who loved and respected former Mayor Jake Godbold say the ambitious young boy from the north side of the city who grew up to lead the city will not be forgotten. Of all the tributes he ever received, the fireboat named in his honor may have been Jake Godbold's favorite. It's a big thrill to uh, to see this boat and see my name on it, you know, going up down there. I love the river. I love the fire department. I love Jacksonville. So it's a great partnership. He worked to create that partnership among many, working with others as mayor to help an outdated, underpaid fire department become modern, professional, and state of the art. To be associated with a group like these men and women here at this fire department is just an honor, and I'm, I'm very proud of them. From his time as city council president to mayor of Jacksonville, he made an imprint on the city from the Jacksonville Landing to the Prime Osborne Convention Center and the Riverwalk Jazz Festival and, of course, paving the way for the Jaguars, just to name a few of his obvious contributions. He was always trying to be inclusive of the community, and he got young people involved. Councilwoman Jacoby Pittman started her career in politics with Godbold. So did former council member Denise Lee, who was the minority coordinator for his first mayoral campaign. She says together they made MLK Day a city holiday. Funding came through him uh, for many things, and um, he made sure that those who had been left out uh, were included. Former Mayor Alvin Brown says Godbold sincerely cared about everyone. He understood his purpose as a servant leader, uh, always speaking his mind, uh, speaking truth to power. The visionary, and he he believed that every everyone in Jacksonville had a role in seeing the growth of this community. He believed in diversity. Uh, he lived it. He didn't just talk it. Godbold worked tirelessly after leaving public office for various causes for the public good, including prevention of domestic violence in memory of his murdered sister-in-law, Barbara Ann Campbell. Godbold helped because he cared. And he cared for people of all walks of life and could relate to so many. To know that some kid that lives on the north side and raised in a project can grow up and be president of the council and mayor of the city of Jacksonville is, is uh, I think these young boys coming up today, these young girls coming up today, all they have to do is look at me and say, hell, if he can do it, we can too. According to Mayor Godbold's wishes, in lieu of flowers, donations can be made to Hubbard House for victims of domestic violence and to Toys for Tots, the late mayor's two favorite charities. And we have special stories honoring Mayor Godbold's legacy and memory all week on News for Jacks. Ahead at 11, we'll dive into his play to move the ball down the field in efforts to bring an NFL team here to town. And tomorrow, his longtime friend and aide, Mike Tolbert, will join the morning show to talk about their 50-year friendship and Jake Godbold's celebration of life service this Thursday. That conversation will be at 7.45 a.m.